It's always been interesting to see that strangers never quite believe that I'm a physicist or that I'm a particle physicist. And, you know, the startled looks are great because it's just not, it's not what people are expecting. I was always really interested in science and math. Math in particular, but I didn't want to do pure mathematics. I wanted to do something that applied to the real world. You know, there's, there's a yearning among people to understand the origins of the universe. Where did we come from? Why are we here? And particle physics deals with the earliest moments of the universe. What existed right after the Big Bang? And how did we get from there to now? It all has to do with what fundamental particles exist, how they interact, how they used to interact. Is it different now? I think that some of the most interesting things still left to discover are actually additional particles and forces that we have never yet seen. Things at the very smallest scales of the universe. I was very lucky that my thesis advisor, Howard Georgi, was a big advocate for diversity and equality in physics. Back when I was his student, I think about half of his students were women. And that was at a time when there were very few women students at all. And so he was somebody who actively supported us. He took our ideas seriously and he treated us with respect. He would argue with us about physics. He wanted to collaborate with us, write papers with us, just like he did his other students. And that was tremendously important. One of the things that really excited me about coming to UC San Diego is that there is such a strong group in um, particle theory and particle experiment. There are people who work all the way from designing big experiments, thinking about how to analyze the data, all the way through the model builders like myself to people doing very theoretical abstract work. So to have the whole spectrum of expertise here that you can talk with and collaborate with is really exceptional. One of the best parts of my role here as uh, the Chief Academic Officer of the University is getting to think at the big scale about how we're serving our students, how we're helping make sure that they are able to feel welcomed into the university, belong at the university, and how they can make progress through their degrees in a way that all of them can do it no matter where they're starting from. We want them all to be able to get to the point of successfully graduating with the major that really they are passionate about. And so I love being able to pull together people from different parts of the university and work collectively on these issues that impact our students. One of the things that really gives me hope is uh, seeing how many of my colleagues in particle physics are now doing outreach to the next generation and seeing how diverse the group of graduate students and postdocs is now. As that generation goes out to do outreach to high schools, there are gonna be so many young kids from all racial and ethnic and sexual orientation and d different backgrounds of every kind who will see themselves in those who are trying to talk to them about particle physics and feel welcome and feel, I can, I can be them, I can be her, I can do this. And that's really exciting for me.